Hi! In this video, I will demonstrate a type of arrangement problems called derangement. An arrangement of n distinct objects is an arrangement of them such that none of the n objects appear in their original position. Here is an example of derangement. There are four cards each labelled with the letters A, B, C and D respectively. These cards are to be placed into four envelopes also labelled with the letters A, B, C and D respectively. Find a number of ways of placing the cards into the envelopes such that the letters on the card does not match the same letter on the envelope and each envelope can only contain one card with no repetition. Now a technique to solve the arrangement problems is by using the inclusion-exclusion principles. Now step number one is to calculate the number of arrangements when you put four, four cards into four envelopes without any restrictions. So step number one is to calculate no restrictions. So when you put four cards into four envelopes without any restrictions, there are four factorial ways, which is 24 number of ways. Step two is to keep one of the four cards unchanged in its envelope. So for example, keeping card A in envelope A unchanged and arranging the remaining three cards. So if we want to keep one of those four cards unchanged, we first need to choose which card. So out of four, we choose one and then arrange the remaining three cards. So four times three factorial, which is four times six, gives us 24. Step number three is to keep two cards unchanged in, it, in the envelope. So for example, keeping card A in envelope A and card B in envelope B unchanged and arranging the remaining two cards. So we have 4 choose 2 times 2 factorial, that's 6 times 2, which is 12. And step number 4 is to keep three cards unchanged in the envelopes. So 4 choose 3 and then times 1 factorial. So 4 choose 3 is 4. Step number 5 is to keep all the cards in their own envelopes. So card A into envelope A, card B in envelope B, card C in envelope C and card D in envelope D. Or choose 4, which is equivalent to one way. Now therefore the total number of arrangements equal to, suppose we have no restrictions, that's 24 ways, and when we subtract keeping one card in its envelope, so we subtracted that, but keeping in mind having one card in its envelope and arranging the three remaining cards, we also include the fact that keeping the second card also in its envelope. So since we subtracted that, we need to add that back. So we need to add step three back, which is 12. And when we add keeping two cards in the envelopes, we also um, adding when we have three cards in this envelope. So some of these situations are counted twice, so we need to subtract that. So subtract the case when we have three cards in the envelopes. Now when we subtract that, we are also subtracting where we have four cards in the envelopes. So we need to add that back. So the total number of ways of arranging four cards in the envelopes 
where there's where there's no matching cards in the envelope and there's no um, and there's no repetition equals to nine ways.